All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to make a quick video here. So I got my hands on the uh, new one-handed weapon, the Hammer of the Fallen Thane, 1.5 speed weapon, 22 stamina, and has a lifesteal proc. Um, clearly, somebody at Blizzard was having a stroke when they made this weapon. Not that I'm complaining. It is paladin only. You get it when you get your Shield of Righteousness rune. So everybody and their dog is going to have it. Let me just set this up here really fast so we can let that skill thing go in. Um, my OBR, uh, my, my OBS basically didn't update recently, so I have to fix it, because it's, like, cropping off, like, like, bits of the edge, uh, but I gotta do that later. Um, great. Every time they do an update, it, it, it bugs things out. But here's basically the TLDR. So I hit it, like, 200 times, uh, with white damage, uh, I got 22 procs on one attempt and 19 on the other, so, so an average of about 20% proc. Um, then when I hit it with SOR 200 times, it was all over the place. Uh, one at proc 46 times, the other at proc 30 times, but that's, uh, add them together, divide by two, that's close enough to a 40% proc chance. Can confirm that she does, in fact, um, uh, she will times two proc on a single hit, so a single hit will cause it to proc twice. Um, definitely I could have missed some in here because there were a lot of numbers on the screen. Uh, what else is there to say? She has a 20% spell power ratio. Um, she has no plus healing ratio uh, behind her. Um, she is a typical lifesteal mechanic weapon. I haven't tested it uh, against Mortal Strike or anything, but what that means is is that you heal based upon the damage that it does. So, of course, if it crit, if it does a critical damage proc, then you're going to uh, get, get more healing. If the uh, fire damage is resisted, you'll, you'll, you'll heal, um, uh, you'll, you'll have less healing. Um, I do believe it is fire damage, um, which is interesting. I can check the combat log here. That's the sound of it going off. Uh, let's see here. Drain life, one fire damage. Yeah, yeah, it, it's fire damage. Uh, which is interesting and potentially, uh, decent game design in the sense that, uh, there's gonna be a lot of fire resist gear if you have half a brain in PvP, uh, meaning that this thing, uh, is extremely good under PvE conditions. In fact, it's borderline overpowered, um, which is good, um, under PvE conditions. Uh, but for PvP conditions, she's relatively tempered because she's not a, a shadow damage dealing weapon. She's a fire damage dealing weapon. So I suspect if I, if I actually take this into PvP and I run into people who are hitting soft cap on fire resist, 25% um, of that damage is basically going to be negated. So anyways, I'll end the video here and uh, Deus Volt, boys. Um, um, basically, this is just an awesome, insanely good tanking weapon uh, at the end of the day. All right, Deus Volt.